A 62-year-old gentleman, without any relevant comorbidity, was admitted with a five-year history of iron deficiency anemia of unknown origin. For this reason, during the last five years, the patient received several blood transfusions. Fecal immunochemical tests were persistently positive. He underwent two gastroscopies and one push enteroscopy. Two colonoscopies were attempted, but results were incomplete because of the tortuosity and poor patient compliance. The colon was explored up to the hepatic flexure. No relevant findings were diagnosed in the portions explored apart from sigmoid diverticula without signs of inflammation or bleeding. The site of the bleeding was never identified. Since the patient had a recent incomplete colonoscopy, it was decided to perform a second-generation colon capsule endoscopy to explore both the colon and the small bowel. The capsule was manually activated in the adaptive frame rate mode before the ingestion. The patient was asked to follow the recommended regimen of preparation for colon capsule endoscopy. Briefly, it consists of a split regimen of polyethylene glycol solution, 2 liters the day before and 2 liters on the morning of examination, and an additional low dose of sodium phosphate boosters. The cleansing level of the small bowel was adequate. No significant findings were observed in the proximal small bowel, whilst in the distal part, a protruding lesion partially occupying the lumen was observed. The mucosal surface of the lesion was irregular and erythematous with a large roundish mucosal pattern. No signs of bleeding were observed. The lesion was bigger than 20 millimeters in dimension an ilio-ilial intersusception was suspected. Capsule colonoscopy results were normal, apart from the presence of diverticula in the left colon. In order to further localize and define the tumor, an enterocomputed tomography was performed and revealed a 3.6 by 2.8 cm pedunculated mass in the ileum. The lesion was hypodense with a fat tissue-like density. A concomitant intersusception was confirmed. The patient underwent a laparoscopy. A 10 cm intersusception was identified in the ileum. The intersusceptive bowel segment was resected on block. Inspection confirmed the presence of a 3 cm pedunculated and ulcerated mass. The final pathology was consistent with lipoma. Small lipomas are usually asymptomatic and not clinically relevant. They might present symptoms if of large dimensions. In this case, the lipoma was diagnosed as a protruding lesion with an erythematous and large roundish mucosal pattern. This endoscopic pattern is comparable to that of another case from our center. Giant small bowel lipomas are a rare benign neoplasm but potentially clinically relevant. Obscure gastrointestinal bleeding and intersusceptions are the most frequent clinical presentation of giant small bowel lipomas. Capsule endoscopy is usually indicated in such cases to rule out the cause of bleeding. Second generation colon capsule endoscopy offers the possibility to explore both the small bowel and the colon.